Well, I have officially made it to double digits. It is day 10 and I am so excited to be a third of the way through this 30 day clean eating challenge. I am feeling really overall pretty good about things. I'm happy with the way um, my progress is going. I am enjoying the food this week a lot more than last week, the first week. And I am just in a general sense feeling great and optimistic and motivated to keep going. So I am ready to get to my daily 30 minute workout and then we'll get to the rest of this video. So let's get to it. Well, that was a good workout. I am pouring sweat, or at least I was 10 minutes ago. Um, that workout really kicked my butt, which is what I'm going for. If I'm only gonna do a 30 minute workout a day, I know I need to push really hard through that entire 30 minutes. And I keep my heart rate either from somewhere from moderate to high the entire time, and I like to keep it on the higher end most of the time and bring it down a little when I need to catch my breath, but not bring it all the way down. I was able to push really hard for those 30 minutes, and I know since I've cut back to um, 30 minute workouts from one hour workouts every day, I know I have to push really hard for those 30 minutes. And frankly, mentally, I feel like I can wrap my head around that a lot better and push myself harder because I know it's only 30 minutes. And really, those 30 minutes go by really fast. Whereas an hour, sometimes I was dreading it and I would be watching the clock. And so, I feel like I found a really good balance for my workouts here doing 30 minutes instead and I feel like it's paying off. Um, I'm not as tired during the day, I'm not as sore, I'm not as, um, I, I don't feel like I need a nap whereas most days when I was working out for an hour, I almost always needed a nap. I just could not, I just felt so tired. So this is a really good balance for me. Um, I can really kick my butt for 30 minutes and then not feel like I'm just completely exhausted and trashed for the rest of the day. So that works for me and I feel really good and I feel happy with this workout today. And like always, I am now ready to get into the rest of my day and tackle the other things that I have on my to-do list and spend time with my family. So I just want to talk about one little thing that I tell myself on days where I'm struggling to stick with this food plan and stay on the whole foods, clean foods um, diet or plan that this is. And you know, right now I am completely off of refined sugar. I am completely off white carbohydrates like white flour, uh, white rice, white potatoes, and I'm completely off dairy actually as well. And so really this is just an experiment to see how do I feel if I cut out those three things from my diet for a while, if I take a break from them, how do I feel? How does my body react? How do I feel mentally and emotionally off of those things? And so, um, yeah, it's definitely a kind of a fun experiment for me to see, you know, how, how do I react? How does the whole parts of me kind of feel off of all those things? And overall, I feel significantly better in a lot of different ways. And like I said, um, I am seeing a difference in my body. I've lost a little weight. My clothes are feeling a little more loose, but I'm definitely having more energy every day. I, most days I don't feel like I need a nap like I used to feel when I was eating all that stuff. And um, also I feel like my focus, I'm able to focus more and think more clearly. I just feel more awake, like not just in my body, but mentally and emotionally as well. So I'm seeing a lot of benefits from um, taking a break from all those foods. 
Um, but what, what is it that I tell myself when I'm really struggling and I want to eat the French bread that I have for dinner for my family to go with the dinner or the cookies my daughter makes. She makes the best chocolate chip cookies. They're one of my favorite treats. Uh, and she's made those a few times in the last couple of months when I've tried to be off sugar. And it's been really, really hard to say no and to watch everybody else eat that stuff and stay committed to, to this, this experiment, I guess you could call it. And so what is it that I tell myself that helps me get through those times when I feel kind of bad and feel like I'm being, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if being left out is the right word, but when everybody else is enjoying those yummy foods, um, this is what one of the things that I tell myself that helps me every single time to stick to my guns right now. And it is this. I don't have to cut this out forever. I don't have to stay away from these foods forever. And I don't plan to stay away from them forever. It's just for a while because I know that I'm addicted to them. I know that I'm addicted to sugar. I know that if I don't take drastic measures, if I don't make drastic changes right now, um, I'm gonna pay the price later on or I'm gonna, my health is gonna continue to deteriorate, which means my life quality of life will deteriorate and I can't have that. I'm not okay with that. And so it's a simple little bit of advice that I give myself and it is that I can I can have this stuff if I really, really feel like I need it, if I just can't quit thinking about it or if I just can't wrap my head around not having it, I can have it. I give myself the permission to have it, but I make myself wait for a little longer, wait it out, go do something else go do something to distract myself. Don't sit there and watch everybody else eat the, these yummy foods. Um, and, and I have to give myself a good fighting chance on this and not cave in every time. But just telling myself it's okay, I'm gonna be able to have this stuff again, but just not right now, just not right now. And it always makes me feel better like, okay, I can do this, this isn't the end and I'm not permanently never gonna have those foods again, just right now, I have to get used to li what life might be like off those foods. And luckily, I, I've been doing this long enough, especially with the sugar, because I've been off of most refined sugar for almost two months now. Um, I am seeing really awesome results, like I talked about. I am feeling so much better. And so it has been absolutely worth it, but I have had to persevere through those, those really hard, strong cravings and, and being around that food and it is not easy, but the life that I want beyond this is more important to me than eating um, a pan of chocolate chip cookies or the pizza that I love so much or whatever it may be. But I also know I can come back to that food at some point, but I've got to really create some strong, healthy habits and get those foundations in place first before I'm willing to go back to that. And so telling myself that it's not over permanently, my relationship with these foods isn't over permanently, um, it does help me a lot. And then focusing on what I truly want and what I truly want is to feel good and those foods do not make me feel good. So that is my bit of, of, of advice that I tell myself. Maybe it could be useful to somebody else out there trying to get their life and their health back on track. And um, it really does help me a lot. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I hope that if you um, like this, these videos, if you're interested in seeing how the next um, 20 days goes for me, please like and subscribe, comment and um, I'd love to have you along for the ride. So have a great day and I'll see you back tomorrow.